Welcome to unboxing of Rivarossi HO Tender Locomotive 4014 Big Boy. Welcome to my new unboxing video. Today I received this uh, very big package uh, from model band shop Lipper. So let's have a look what's inside. So this is the new Rivarossi Big Boy of the Union Pacific 4014 in the scale 1 to 87. Once we open this box, we have another cover for protection and then we have the locomotive very nicely packed inside. We also have some spare parts to have a look. So I will now move to the table. The package was so big I couldn't get it in the frame of the camera, so I had to move it that in on the floor. So now we take the locomotive out of the box and let's have a look at it. So I was so excited. I actually didn't make the proper introduction of the model. So this is the Union Pacific Heavy Freight Tender Locomotive 4014 Big Boy Heritage Edition, which also includes with oil tender. It's from Epoch 6 and has also a DCC sound recorder. So in the package, uh, we also receive um, some spare parts or uh, I will figure out when I look at the instructions for what this is. And we also receive um, some instructions, uh, basic disclaimers, then paper on how the locomotive is constructed. And also very interest, important is the information uh, regarding the, the decoder. So this decoder is uh, uh, V5 lock sound, uh, 128 megabits, uh, and can control several parameters. Here we'll have the, the main functions that you can include, which is this lights on, bell, whistle, coupler, cabin light, and curve squeal, heavy load mode. But then you also can uh, program by yourself following these instructions uh, different um, parameters. So that's very uh, interesting and useful. So let's now open this. So first we we'll take out the tender. Something fell out. That shouldn't probably happen. <laughs> so I have to check how come. Okay, so this is something I will have to check later. I have to um, stretch here a bit these parts, and then it fell inside. So, but otherwise, um, it's quite well detailed uh, tender. So I'll just remove here this uh, plastic so we can see it uh, from this side. Um, the details are very very nice and very well done. So let's uh, open. Okay. 
Okay. The good sign is uh, no wheels falling off here, uh, like it did in the tender. We have the chimney here. And a lot of <laughs> moving pieces. Um, this moves freely. Also, this. This is why this locomotive is very long. It comes to 46.6 centimeters in total. And due to the number of the wheels, uh, it also has some problems dealing with the narrow uh, curves. So the minimum radius is uh, 35.65 centimeters. So if you have a very uh, narrow curves on your layout, uh, this will not be able to go around. So things are moving quite okay, I think. So this is all I have the feeling this plastic materials is nothing uh, made out of steel or metal. And if I look also on the other side, um, yeah, but the, the, there is a lot of details, very high high level details. Uh, we have here on the top the number uh, we have in here later on also the cables to connect to the tender for electricity and, and all the connections. We can see here in copper uh, it's for the collection uh, contacts for the electricity for the power. Delivered to the Union Pacific in December 1941 and retired exactly 20 years later, uh, that being 20 years in service. At that time also the other locomotive, especially diesel, was uh, picking up, so these kind of locomotives were not really needed anymore. In 2013 this type locomotive was uh, repurchased by the Union Pacific from the Rail Giants Museum in Pomona, California, and it was taken to Cheyenne for a multi-year restoration process to bring it back to life. And this restoration took a number of years until May 2019, when it marked 150 years anniversary of the complete of the Transcontinental Railroad. So this is the Rivarossi 20, 2022 model uh, with the new old tender a modified boiler, new radio antennas and other rework details. As I said, this is quite a, a long model, 46 centimeters. So I think it will be very nice on any layout uh, model railroad. So I will now put this on my tracks uh, and have to connect it to, uh, to my DCC. Uh, power and then uh, let's see how it goes. So let's have a look at the locomotive also from the side. So here on the top we have a steel plate. Uh, here will be the number of the locomotive and this is the, the lights. We have different types of cooling pipes also below. This is the bell and again we have the numbers here. So these are the two smoke stacks. Later on here we have a whistle and then this is the steam dome, a sand dome and the steam dome and the safety valves and again the sand dome. If you look a bit on the bottom these are the cylinders, these are the air reservoir and again, for example, this is a reverse power system. This will be the main wheels on both for transmitting the power. Going down, as we said, sanding dome. This is the power gear. And this is the cabin for, the, of course, the driver and the fireman, where they will have all the equipment. Inside here, this is the boiler. Uh, and earlier here will be the pipes um, where the water will be heated. Um, now we are coming tender. We have here the, for the oil 
uh, and then here this is the covers for the water where we put it inside so this is how this new locomotive looks like everything now on the tracks we'll have to also first connect these parts so let's start so I have only this round circle at the moment to test because uh, my mod layout is modular so I um, don't have the whole area yet prepared for the locomotive to dry so I had to put up this smaller round circle just to test it good so I think uh, everything is now set uh, programmed my application uh, for the control so I'm using the Rocco Fleischmann Z21 uh, inside this system I uh, added a, a new vehicle which is this big boy and I added all the different functions from the instruction manual so this is now all copied here um, and let's uh, start it up <coughs> So now it's stopping. So we put on the lights. Uh, this is the sound when it's driving.
So let me now also present you the different sounds of the locomotive. So we can turn on the front light, we turn the engine on, then you have the bell, then you have the whistle, then you have the manual cylinder cocks. All burner blower, sending valve, air pump. Injector Ash dump Blow Blow down Safety valve Water refill Dumping And uh, the last, the stoker Thank you for watching the unboxing video of my Rivarossi Big Boy. In the overall, I think the value for money is quite good here. The locomotive is, has a number of high details, which I really like, and especially I appreciate the high quality of the sounds that it has. So, if you like the video, I invite you to subscribe to my channel uh, to be informed about any future videos like this or also if you're interested to have a look at the videos regarding model uh, layout making or also travels with the locomotives. Thank you.